of you see in uh, sap s4 hana we do have error logs <clears throat> but in ecc we don't have any error logs directly it will throw you the uh, error okay so that thing is also very very important uh, for our uh, uh, key things okay Um, can you give slash session and once again come back to this uh, DMEE -E transaction code? Give slash session, ma'am. Ah, DMEE. -E. All of you, I will show you the one thing. In interview point of view, they will just ask you the questions. What do you mean by display? What do you mean by change? What do you mean by create? Okay, create, we know it. Okay. We, we know it. Whatever the things that we have, we know it. But what is the display? In the display, you cannot change it. Okay. In the change option only, you can change it. Okay. So where can I activate the, all these things? Okay. It will going to ask you the questions. Definitely. Okay. Good. So that is the major difference. C. When you are having the payment medium type tree with the help of a payment medium formats and all, so can we create with our own things? No, based on the client requirement. OK, good. Go to the change option, ma'am. Go to the change option. Um, right click on this uh, payment details, ma'am. Right click on the payment details. Yes. And go to the create segment and segment same level. <clears throat> OK, what we need to do is uh, we need to give the uh, trailer level. OK, so name is trailer. Trailer and short description is also trailer and the level is one, two, three. So this one is third level, right? So take out the third level. <clears throat> take out the third level and comment is. Comment is. Comment is same trailer. For data medium exchange. Okay, click on the enter. Right click on this uh, trailer level, ma'am, and go to the create element. Create element. Okay, so number of items. Take out the name as number of items, ma'am, and the short description is also number of items. Short description also number of items. And the length is 40. And in the mapping procedures, you can just take out the own mapping, ma'am. The mapping processor, you can just take out the own mapping. And we need to have atom handling, sir. Okay. So atom handling is very, very important, all of you. And uh, atom handling, so we are handling with the values in elements with the spaces. I mean, that we are concatenating each and everything. So that is very, very important, right? So take out the zero to ma'am. <clears throat> With spaces, take out the zero to. OK, zero to is very, very important. Concatenation values in elements with the spaces. OK, and previously in ECC, we have taken only concatenations values uh, with the help of payment medium uh, uh, segment groups only. But the thing is that we can have the seg uh, segregations of the values. OK, so that is very, very important right now. We have. And there is no any source for this thing and go to the comment tab ma'am directly and give the number of items of a data medium exchange. Number of items. See, these are the atoms, all of you. So in the number of atoms, we do have own mapping. So that is why I'm not taking any source. OK, so right click on the number of uh, items, ma'am. And just create atom. Create atom. Yes. OK, so can you give the a name as number of items, ma'am? NO space OF space items like this. OK, good. So short description is uh, NO space OF space items. 
n was space o f space items and what is the length uh, can you take out the 15 length ma'am so mapping procedure is a constant thing okay no need to change anything for the mapping procedures and all <clears throat> okay no need to uh, source and all and go to the comment tab ma'am go to the comment tab and number of items number of items click on the enter ma'am go to the attributes so we do have created the atoms in all and the next one is uh, whenever we are creating the atoms that is particularly based on the sub node right okay so in the number of items what we need to do is uh, create atom ma'am once again yes hmm. <clears throat> okay so can you give the number ma'am what is the exact number for the uh, i mean uh, files numbers okay is it a first file is it a second file is it a third file okay so that we need to give it name as number name as number and the short description is also number and the length is four ma'am and this is not a character this is just a numeric okay so mapping processor is a aggregation aggregation okay aggregation is very very important aggregation is nothing but the segregation of all these things and go to the comment tab no no need to have any source for the atoms we don't have any source things. so number for data medium exchange number for data medium exchange number for data medium exchange oh Okay, ma'am. What we need to do is uh, node level node uh, with the too many different format levels on same level. See, it's not different. Okay, you do one thing. Remove this thing, ma'am. Uh, in the trailer level, in the trailer, uh, double click on trailer. Hmm. Now give the uh, remove this level three and just give one. Oh. Click on the enter. Okay, good. Now check it. Do we have any errors? Hmm. Right, there is no errors, right? But there are warnings. Are huh? is consistent? Okay, continue. Go to that spool request. No aggregation relation specified for node number. Oh, yes, we will specify. Ma we will specify. Go to the aggregation. Go to the aggregation. No, no, no. Here number only. Go to the aggregation. Yes. And we will specify it. Okay. In the aggregation, reference ID, we will specify it. No, no, no. You haven't created any reference ID, right? How you can able to give it? <clears throat> so right click on the the right click on the payment details ma'am hmm. right click on the payment details uh, create technical node create technical node okay so we will uh, try to create the technical nodes right so in this thing uh, in the name you can just give technical node in the name you can just give technical node and reference id is tech t e c h and short description is also technical node and the length is one and characteristics type is a numeric characteristics type is a numeric and then next uh, this is uh, for the constant no issue and go to the source source uh, yes and constant is one constant is one and go to the comment ma'am go to the comment and just give the technical note for data medium exchange technical note for data medium exchange click on the enter mark so reference id will be uh, generated all of you for the tech 
Okay, why we need to give the reference ID? See, based on the payment details, you need to have these payment details in your flat files, right? So, based on the trailer wise, based on the atoms, number of items, number of items, levels, and all. Okay, you that number of items or else that sub node trailer is referring to the particular payment details. You got my point? Then only we can able to. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, uh, print the different types of details. Okay, that is payment details and all for the particular uh, flat files, XML file or Excel files. So like this, you can able to create. Okay, so now what we need to do is, can you go to this number, ma'am? So it is throwing an warning message, right? So for this aggregation, so we need to give the reference, right? So double click on this number, ma'am. And go to the aggregation. In this aggregation, they, we do have reference ID, right? So uh, take out the reference ID, ma'am. Yes. Good. And uh, and we need to have the aggregation. Uh, okay. So in this thing, what is the value? Summation of values or number of occurrences? Okay. See, we will print the details, right? So. When you are printing the details and all, what we need to take? So we will going to take summation of values or number of occurrences. Number of occurrences will be there, right? Okay, for each and when every vendor, for each and every customers, occurrences will be there. Okay, so that is why take out the number of occurrences. Yes, ma'am. And go to the comment session, ma'am. Go to the comment session. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, no need to have any. Aggregation uh, sections and all, and also aggregation sections will be there, and the uh, conditions are uh, not given. So why? Because based on the references and the conditions, sorry, based on the aggregations. So we will going to refer all these things for the payment details, and the next one is uh, uh, <coughs> reference ID is given to the particular aggregation values. That that one is okay. <coughs> And what is the last left out thing first? We need to give the for the amount references also. We need to give it right. Ma'am, can you double click on this trailer level, ma'am? Uh, right click on the trailer level, ma'am. Right click on the trailer level, <clears throat> create element, ma'am. Okay, so what is the thing? Total amount, ma'am. So we need to take the total amount, right? <clears throat> Suppose you are making the payments to the two different vendors, and you should know the total payment, right? See, for each and every vendor, you do have payments. <clears throat> the next one is. Uh, uh, to combine all these amounts, you need to have total amount, right? So that is also very, very important right now. And give the total amount, ma'am, name and uh, length is 12. And length is 12. And uh, character is currency amount, current uh, currency amount. And uh, mapping procedure is aggregation. Source is not at all required. And uh, So we will give the reference ID, ma'am, and go to the comment tab first of all, and go to the comment tab. Ah, yes, and total amount uh, for a data medium exchange. Oh, click on the enter, ma'am. Now what we need to do is all right. So for this amount, we need to give the uh, whatever the amount that we give for the vendors and all, and that will be, uh, I mean, uh, okay, that will be there in the total amounts, right? So for that thing, what we need to do is double click on this amount, um, amount. Uh. So here, uh, what we need to do is, can you take out the reference ID, ma'am? Amount one, like this, amount one.
So based on the amount only, how we are referring all these things to the particular um, vendor. OK, so see all of you learn the points. First of all, execution of the DME can be done by any other person, but whatever the requirement that we are doing, OK, based on the which amount you are doing. OK, so based on the which references you are doing, they will going to ask you. That is the question. <clears throat> OK, now what we need to do is we will just do the aggregation for the total amount. OK, double click on this total amount now and go to the aggregation and just give this reference ID that is total uh, that is amount one. Hmm. OK, good. So in this thing, we need to take out the summation of values. Okay, in the number we have taken the uh, number of occurrences. OK, so that is very, very important right now. OK, so take out that one num. Yes, I go to the syntax issue now and check it. There is no any errors. Is it consistent and no errors? And uh, see and go to this activate mom activate button. There is no any pull requests. I mean pull errors and all activate this thing. Continue. See if it is not at all good, definitely it will throw you an error. OK, all of you. So these all are the configurations of uh, data medium exchanges. OK, go to the change option now. We will going to have a lot of details all of you. Yeah. And do it on your own. If you face any problem and all, do it on your own first of all. And if you are not getting the points, then you can come back to the SAP FSU groups. OK, so a number of people are there and they are also practicing. And uh, if they have uh, got that errors and all, and they will give you the reply. OK, or else I will give you the reply. No issue. <clears throat> 